Right, what's going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel my name is big fry and uh today uh i'm already starting off this video just pissed off so i'm, I'm not gonna lie to you this game is called survival classic it's being made by tb games it's uh, currently $10 on Steam. It's, uh, it's described, well, I'll just read it out here. Try to survive in the harsh realities of the cold Siberian hinterland. Live long and always remember that man-to-man -man is truly an enemy, whatever the hell that means. Nobody can be trusted here, but it is almost impossible to survive alone. Choose your path and go through this cold land to the end. It's described as a multiplayer, massive multiplayer survival game. I, I started this up and it always went to my second monitor. I have my primary monitor and a secondary monitor on the side, and this game took forever to, to finally get going on my main monitor. Allow access. Of course it went on the... Okay, now it's on both monitors. What in the fuck is going on here? <laughs> All right. Uh... What? Why is it making fucking drum noises? Uh, Alt-Tab. Okay, for whatever reason, it's opening up on my other fucking monitor. Ugh, and I can't... Holy fucking shit, dude. Alt-Enter to go windowed mode? Like, you don't have that kind of fucking shit in here? Holy fuck, man. I mean, shit, this shit isn't that fucking hard, dude. No, dude, it's like, dude, it's like spreading across my fucking monitors. Oh my god, man. Alt-Enter doesn't work. Oh my god, man. And then I realized, after about 20 minutes of playing it, that because it was switching monitors so often, my G-Force couldn't keep up and it would just, you know, start and stop and then, you know, cut off the file. Uh, so I had 20 minutes of gameplay that um, didn't fucking record because this game just kept switching monitors on me and I fucking love it. So uh, we're going to jump in here. You can see my guy here with his little tidy whities He's got a pistol on the side and I should have one in my inventory as well. We're going to jump in. I'm already mad. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh, dude. I, I, yeah, man, I don't understand how people can make games this bad. All right, we're in. Survival Classic. Let it load up. All right, apparently I'm sitting on a... All right, so there's my gun. Now, I have uh, ammo, 9 by 19 so I should be able to reload. Do I have to drag the ammo? That's 9 by 19 Maybe, yeah, okay, so I do. I, I have 46 rounds. Oh, I see. I need a magazine for the gun okay so that doesn't work so i'm gonna press e i need a magazine it was nighttime when i started and now it looks like daytime okay we got a pro backpack is full and this one doesn't have a magazine either but let me grab these pants real quick okay there's a pistol here as well backpack is full i wondered like does that one have a magazine though no that's a makarov so it doesn't even matter so yeah basically what happened is i came into the city and I killed some, like, devil wolf that looked like it came out of fucking Doom 3D. And uh, it disappeared, so I can't actually go and show you. Uh, because it just disappeared on the ground. And left a little pork chop for me. What was that? Some sort of battery? Ammo box? I don't fucking know, dude. Whatever. Okay, um, okay, another gun. So here's the deal. Like, the game is optimized, but, like, good god, man. It's ugly as shit. <laughs> Straight up. It reminds me a lot of uh, War Z, but like worse, if that makes sense. What is that? Is that a helmet? That's a that's a different different type of hat. So it looks like people are just... It's weird to have a kill feed in a game like this. Speaking of kill feed, my new podcast is out right now on Spotify, Apple uh, Podcasts. Uh, and any other uh, podcasting platform that you guys uh, that you guys utilize, the link is down in the description below. I don't know why they would have a kill feed in a in a in a survival game like that. It makes me feel like it's basically like yeah, it's survival, but it's more just PvP focused. Oh look it, look it, it's that devil dog. Look at this fucking thing. 
Like, what is this? Look at it. The fuck is this? I wish I could have got that reaction uh, when it was nighttime and that thing started chasing me. I thought it was a wolf until I turned on the flashlight and all of a sudden, you know, a portal to hell opened up. Like this game for a for a like for a for an early access game, it's it's inherently like it's it's basic. I'm stuck now. Oh my god, dude. I'm stuck, bro. The game's ugly as shit, I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I wanna oh what's this? I wanna get into combat. But I actually wanna see like gunplay, you know what I mean? Cause I just have a feeling that they're gonna shoot like garbage. Someone's nearby. Hello? Hey, hey, don't shoot me, don't shoot me! Don't shoot me, don't shoot me! You friendly? What the fuck is this? Wow, that's the fucking melee combat? What the fuck? Does he have, yeah, I'm bleeding. I'm gonna die, so. Uh, that was very weird. What the fuck is this game? Okay. Oh, I see. Motherfucker! There you go. So that looked like shit. Grab that, don't care. Like, where, where are the fucking bandages? Here we go, let's try this. Come on. Come on! Nothing? What's that? What is that? Oh, it's a mag? Jesus Christ, dude. That's a P90. How- how is there no nothing Like, really? Ammo. A key. There's nothing in there either. Like, fuck me. This game is fucking terrible. An Uzi? Like, there's no med supplies just anywhere in this entire building. Not a single bandage. Nope. <sighs> I, uh, yeah, cool, man. I don't know. I, there's just no med supplies anywhere in this building. Yeah, this is why games like Scum are just better survival games, man. You can, like, cut into rag- cut clothes into rags and shit. Uh, you know. Can do a bunch of cool shit. It's just fucking magazines and guns! There's- there's no med supplies any- this game is fucking trash! Okay, looking at the Steam store, this is a really weird situation. So, TB Games created, developed, published Survival Classic, which I think is just a terrible name for a game anyway. But when you go to- let's open up TB Games here and go to their actual list of games. So they have a game coming out, uh, it's coming soon, called Military. Can't wait to play that one. Free-to-play realistic first-person military shooter. Survival Classic came out February 19th, 2020, which is the day I'm recording this. But then you also have a game called Survival, which came out December 3rd, 2019. So about, what, three months ago? Two months ago? It's sitting at mixed reviews, published and developed by TB Games. So wait a minute, let's blow up this video a little bit. Does this look... Exactly the f that's the same building I was just in. So, okay. Let's let's wait until it gets to that inventory again cuz that's what I want to see. Look at this. It's the same game. Same character model, inventory system, everything. And it came out on the Steam store not even two months ago, or just over two months. It's the same game. 7,000 mixed reviews. And then what's this? This is called The Last Haven. So they're also working on this game coming soon. The world after a nuclear war. Manage the settlement. Learn technology. Make decisions. Let's click on this. So this looks like an RTS. But it's weird. So check this out. So on the list of TB Games Official, we have The Last Haven, which is being made by Thunder Devs and published by... Thunder devs. They also made Battle Rush, which I don't think we ever played Battle Rush. Okay, that also looks like fucking trash. So military is being made by TB Games. Oh my fucking god. 
We hope to get out of early access phase as soon as the game is brought in the form that suits both us and the- So no answer there, cool. Uh, one of the most appealing aspects of early access is the ability to shape a game together with the community, alongside our own ambitions for features and mechanics that we'd like to add to the game. Um, this game should stay in access for 12 to 24 months. The exact time depends on players' engagement. Let's click over here. One of the most appealing aspects of early access was the ability to shape military together with the community alongside our own ambitions for features and mechanics that we'd like to add to the game. Consequently, we've decided to keep our schedule fairly flexible so that the development team and community can best mold the military experience that we all want to see. The game should stay in early access for 12 to 24 months. The exact time depends on players engaged. So it's a copy of fucking paste. It's copy and paste. Military is a free to play, realistic first person military shooter. Show your skills and strategies. It's coming soon. Don't know when it's coming out. Let me look at it. Okay. Wait, I know this level from somewhere. Uh, browse, um, environments. What's it called? Desert? I'm pretty sure I've played in that map before. If, I, if I'm not mistaken, I'm gonna find it. Right here, Desert Town. I'm not crazy! Scrub, 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 scrub. It's, yeah, it's the same building, dude. They're just churning out games, left, right, and center. So survival has been on the store since Thursday, uh, April 16th, 2015, at least based on their news posted. So it's been around for five years. And then it, it it launched finally December 3rd. And then, yeah, they just decided to, I guess, launch a classic version of it. <laughs> and it's trash. <laughs> Oh man, guys, just stay away from this kind of shit. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit me with a thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Consider being a member for only 99 cents a month. And if you guys could check out my new podcast, Kill Feed. The first episode dropped this last Monday, and they're going to be coming every Monday moving forward. I appreciate you guys watching. My name is Big Fry, and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>